guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name's Nadia um, I do vlog style videos travel vlogs and fashion so if you're interested please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below today we're gonna be talking about my new purchase it's my first designer purchase and it's a Louis Vuitton Pachette Matisse I'm not sure if I'm saying it right but yeah I'll put it on the screen it'll also be on the title of this video um, so just a little background, I recently got back from Los Angeles, California. I've been wanting to go to California literally since I was in middle school. I'm 21 now, I graduated. So yeah, I definitely was excited to go finally make that trip to Los Angeles. And one of the things I wanted to do was take a trip to Rodeo Drive. If you don't know what Rodeo Drive is, it's basically this area in Beverly Hills, California, which is just a strip of, you know, designer and luxury designer stores like Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Dior, Gucci, Versace, Fendi, just stores like that. So it's very beautiful. I'll probably insert some pictures as well. Yeah, I went there. I didn't really go with the intentions of buying anything specific or buying anything. But you know what? In the moment, I was just like, I kind of want this bag. I kind of want to buy my designer bag. So I went ahead and did it. I did have buyer's guilt. And I was like, like the night I bought this bag, I was literally waking up in the middle of the night, like staring at it in disgust. I'm like, why, why would someone spend this much on a bag? And I definitely had to sleep on it and talk to my family about it. And I ended up deciding to just keep it and hold on to it because, you know, this is a big deal, literally buying something from Rodeo Drive. So, you know what, and I deserve it. I mean, not that I'm trying to explain myself to you guys, but, um... You know what, it's like a graduation present, and like I said, I've been wanting to go to California for a long time, so it's kind of like a special meaning to me. So, um, basically that's why I got it. Um, I don't really buy designers, I don't really buy designer items because, you know, a lot of it is so expensive and then they go out of style. So, I'm not really the type to be buying different designer pieces, like I really don't care about designer but I did want to go ahead and just invest in a bag because I've been using like the same three bags for the past like five years. Like I honestly haven't bought, I haven't purchased a bag in a long time because like I've just been tired of like the normal bags. So I did in the back of my mind I did just want to go ahead and buy one but I didn't really have the guts to go ahead and spend that kind of money on a purse. So yeah it definitely did take some time but um yeah so i'm gonna talk about my experience at rodeo drive louis vuitton location because of covid i did have to wait outside for like 20 to 30 minutes which was kind of expected because you know there's limits on how many people can go into different locations so you know what my name was put on the list this guy was walking around with like a tablet ipad he asked for your name and then once i got to the front of the line they called me and i walked into the store and you get a personal like shopper you know someone that will help you pick things out and explain things to you and go with the go through the price with you and just help you find the bag the item so um the person i was helping me she was very sweet and patient so i did enjoy that um i was probably in the store for probably like 20 minutes i think or longer um i didn't go in mind like i said i didn't really go in mind with a specific bag in mind when she did greet me, she did ask me, like, were you looking for anything in specific? And I told her, um, not really. Like, I didn't really have a name in my head. I just knew I wanted a crossbody bag with the classic, you know, Louis Vuitton monogram look. So, um, she did proceed to, like, show me a few bags. And the ones she showed me were super cute. Some of them were, like, you know, expected, like, very expensive. Like, thousands, thousands, like, three thousand, four thousand. So, of course, I was like, no, thank you. But, um, yeah, she showed me about, like, six different bags. And then, towards the end, I narrowed it down to, like, two bags. The other bag that I was thinking about getting was this, like, circular crossbody bag I'll probably put on the screen. It's super cute. There's, like, a smaller version and the bigger version. The bigger version was a lot of money. And then the smaller version was more affordable. Not affordable. The smaller version, the smaller... The smaller version was more in the price range I was looking for, but then as I was thinking about it, it was like the bag was pretty small and you really couldn't fit much. Like you could fit 
probably your phone, a wallet, a lip stick, lip color, and a hand sanitizer, really that's it. So I was thinking about it, like why would I spend this much money if I can I can't really, you know, hold things in the purse because I did want it I didn't want the bag that I got that day to be something practical and something that I could store, you know, everyday things if I want to run to the store, if I want to, you know, travel with it. So that's why I did end up spending a little bit more just so I could have convenience. So definitely think about that when you're shopping. Another reason why I went with Louis Vuitton is because Louis Vuitton is pretty much timeless. Like Louis Vuitton has been, you know, a good brand for like a common a very common purchased, <laughs> a very common, you know, item that people, very common brand that people go to for the past, you know, years and years and it's probably going to continue to be that way. So I definitely wanted a bag that would be, you know, an investment and something that wouldn't go out of style, you know, in a few months or a few years. So I definitely wanted something that if I decide to, I can resell it and still make some of my money back and um Louis Vuitton is expensive because you know these bags are supposed to last a lifetime so it, like I said it is an investment so you really have to think about it. My experience at the Louis Vuitton in Rodeo Drive was decent they were very professional and they were patient with me and I overall had a good experience there so yeah um I did record me unboxing it the exact day I bought it. Like I said, I bought it about a week ago in Los Angeles. So, um, the day I recorded it, I was, like, kind of out of it. And I was chewing gum in the video. I don't know why. Like, if I was in the right mind, I wouldn't have, you know, chewed gum in it. I just didn't like how the video turned out. So, I'm not, that's why I'm re-filming. I am going to be inserting some of the clips of me actually unraveling the ribbon and, you know, showing you guys it once I got to the hotel. So... Yeah, but I'm so excited. I'm just gonna slide it down. And this is the dust bag it came in. It's pretty nice. And this is the bag. But I decided I just want to refilm it. This is literally like my third time refilming this video, so yeah. Um, so I did take this on the plane with me. This is the shopping bag. It's very good quality. It's just, you know, the orange with the blue straps on it. Blue handles on it. And then it comes in a nice box. And it looks like that. It just says Louis Vuitton on it. And opens like this. I guess it's supposed to be magnetic. So it opens like that. And then on top I just have the receipt. So the receipt just comes in a little card type envelope thing. And then of course it comes in the um, Louis Vuitton dust bag. It's just a cream color. It just looks like that. I'm not sure if this was in the bag or in the box, but... It's just three little papers. One is just the barcode and the name of the bag. And then one of the papers say made in USA. They say made in USA of imported materials and components. And then the other card just says coated fabric. <laughs> the other card just says coated fabric, cowhide leather trim, and then man-made lining. So some of it is not genuine leather, which whatever so this is the bag in the dust bag then we open it this is what the bag looks like it's super gorgeous like when i saw it i did fall in love with it it's just super nice and classic and cute it's the perfect size it's not too big not too small it can definitely hold your everyday items well personally for me it'll hold what i need to carry throughout the day so yeah I'll show you guys all the details up close So as you can see, it's just, you know, the regular monogram print, the classic Louis Vuitton print. And then at the top, it's just a lighter colored leather, which I liked how it stands out. 
And I, like I said, I've been using this for about a week now, so there's a little bit of sh wear, a little bit of marks on it, but I'll definitely clean that up eventually. And one thing I did like about it is the subtle details with like the red on the side of the light leather. And yeah, as you guys can see, it's said Louis Vuitton Paris. And then on the side, it does have hoops for a strap, and it does come with a strap. It's inside. I'll show you guys in a second. However, this little thing, it says Louis Vuitton on it, and the stitching is so perfect. And again, you can see the red on it. And I love how the hardware is gold, because I do wear a lot of gold jewelry. So I just like them to coexist. But this is what it looks like. And then this is the opening. It's where you open the bag. There is some plastic protectors on it that I have not taken out. But as you can see, this is what the detailing looks like up close. And I know some people had some issues with this not being even, but I think mine is pretty even. I don't know. It's, it looks fine to me. And then one thing I was worried about was the opening. Like I wasn't sure if there's going to be an issue, but it's pretty much easy. All you have to do is just put your hand there and then push one side of it and then it just pops open. And then to close it, the my sales lady, she just told me to literally use the leather strap here and then just push it. So it's very simple. It just takes some practicing, but overall it's very simple and compact. So to open it. That's what it looks like. And as you can see, it says it has the logos on it. I'm not sure what you call this, but you know, the print on it, on the bag. And then inside, there's three slots. So there's one slot here, the biggest slot in the middle, and then a second slot. And here's the strap. I'll show you guys that in a second up close. But yeah, and then inside, of course. It says the Louis Vuitton Paris label right there. And this is like, I'm not sure the exact name of this material, but it's like a suede feel. It's very soft and it smells very good. So, yeah. Showing you guys what it looks like. So, you can definitely store like some receipts or something there. And then your main items here, and then some other small main items there. And you can see the three sections from the outside as well. Oh. Oh, and there's a back zipper option. So I just, you know, put my phone for easy access. And then there is a um, zipper that just has another Louis Vuitton detailing on it, which is very cute. And just show you guys how it zips. Yeah, you can tell it's very good quality. So, yeah. And, yeah, this said Louis Vuitton as well. And, like I said, there's plastic on it, so that's why it looks kind of strange. And I just like how it looks like some bezels or something. It's just very cute. I really liked the detailing on this bag. Like, you can tell they really took their time with, you know, designing this. So, now I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like with the strap. So... You could wear this, like let's say you want to dress it up, you can just, you know, wear a dress and then hold the handle by itself. But let's say you want to do something more casual for an everyday look, then you do have the strap that comes with it, just to add on it. And it is adjustable, and if you want to, you can add the little Louis Vuitton coin purses and add it to this. I think she told me that. And then... Here's the hooks. It just says Louis Vuitton on it. it. Just says Louis Vuitton on it as well. And even on the side of the little, I forgot what you call this, but the belt thing, there's detailing that says Louis Vuitton on it. And I'm not sure if this strap is well either. I think I saw a video that said it's not, so I'm not totally sure. But yeah, it feels pretty good and. Um, sturdy. It feels very sturdy. Like, it's not going to break too easily. And it's supposed to last a lifetime, so. <laughs> yeah, so this is what it looks like when you add the strap to it. This is what I've been using. I've been using the strap this whole time. 
Um, so yeah, super cute. I'm gonna show you guys with show you guys what it looks like on. My outfit is not really that cute today, but yeah. <laughs> so this is what it looks like on. Sorry, I have things on my thing. But this is what it looks like on. I usually just wear it towards the front. Cause you gotta show it off. <laughs> but um you could wear it to the side. And I just like how it looks. It's super cute. So let me know if you guys want me to do let me know if you guys want me to do some videos styling this bag. If I should do a what's in my pachet matisse. I don't know how to say it, but you know what's in this bag. Cause I'll definitely I definitely want to do a lot of videos with this bag because I just love it so much. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, if you did. But yeah guys, after a week of having this, I'm definitely satisfied with my purchase. I'm very excited that I just went ahead and got it. Um, like I said, it really does add a little something to your outfit. You could wear something very simple and not designer. It automatically elevates your outfit, so I do like that aspect of like having a good you know at least one designer piece to add to your collection um I just love the little detailing on it and like I said especially the gold accents on it because I do wear a lot of gold and overall I do recommend this bag I don't really have any issues with it it's very compact and I'm not sure if I talked about this earlier I decided to spend a little bit more just so I can use this bag more practically I'm very you know okay with my purchase so I definitely recommend you guys go ahead and get it if you guys have any now I'm having issues closing it but yeah if you if you guys have any questions or concerns please comment down below and I'll do my best to answer your questions um yeah definitely let me know if you guys want to see me do more videos with this bag because i definitely be you know a month or six months from now i'll do an update on this bag and just show you guys anywhere that has occurred hopefully none but you know just show you guys and yeah i definitely want to do a what's in my bag so i'm gonna show you guys the little things that i do carry in this bag But yeah, I try not to touch the strap too much because I don't want it to show too much wear on it since it is a lighter color compared to the rest of the bag. So I try to minimize myself from touching it. I just stick to, you know, holding it over my body. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy watching this video, please let me know. And definitely subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Just the bag up close.